Good morning, YouTube. How is everyone today? I want you guys to do me a favor. If you like my vibe, please drop down there and hit like and subscribe. Today, we want to talk about some things you can do to not become a victim of domestic violence. We always talk about it after the fact, but I think as I'm going to do it from a woman's perspective, but this, you know, this refers to everyone, women, men, transgender, whoever you are in a relationship, dating, these are some things that you need to do, you know, to kind of put you in a different place. I feel like abusers know who to look for, what weaknesses, you know, and how to manipulate you. So you have to be very careful. But I honestly believe that uh, having your own, being independent, self-reliant will eliminate some things. Listen to your mothers, listen to your family, listen to your friends, listen to your cousins, listen to your coworkers. Everybody is not hating on you. Um, take off the blinders. A lot of times we're looking for love, you know, and we have this fantasy going and you're not really looking at the person. You're looking at the fantasy and you just kind of want to fill that spot. You know, it's like women who've planned a wedding Yet they are not engaged and they don't have a man, but the wedding is planned. So they're just looking for somebody to drop in that spot. You will find yourself in a bad situation. Also, another thing you can do is do background checks on people, law enforcement, school friends, work history, previous women. Does your man still speak to his ex? Do his exes hate him? Do they care that he's with you? Those are things you need to think about. Um, if an ex is telling you something about your man, you don't need to believe everything they say, but you need to investigate and you need to ask some questions because down the line, you'll be like, Oh my God, I should have listened. Does your man respect other women? Men who call women name, refer to women as bitches, hoes, sluts on the regular, like that's just their general lingo. Pay attention to that because what do you think they're going to call you and say to you? Will he slap a bitch? If he don't have a problem slapping a bitch, he going to slap you too. Know that. Does he think he's a pimp? Does he exhibit pimp behavior? Does he speak like a pimp? Pay attention. If he does, you want to stay away from him. Also, if you're in a desperate situation, it makes you more vulnerable. Like if you're homeless, if you're addicted, you don't have a father for your children, you glitz and glam excite you. Um, you're a label whore. You're all about money. You don't care as long as he got money. That's going to put you in a bad situation. You have to be self-reliant. I cannot stress that enough. Another thing you can do to avoid becoming a domestic violence victim is call the police. We have been told by criminals and society has believed them that, oh, you don't snitch, you don't call the police. If somebody puts their damn hands on you, call the police and get out of that situation. If you stand, you definitely need to call the police because you need to let a brother know that you're not having it. But if you not call, if you don't call the police, you need to walk away and never look back and never see this person again because... When they swing once, and they will swing again. Believe that. Know that you cannot change a person. Accept people at face value. Again, we go back to that fantasy of seeing the potential in a person. Oh, they have the potential. They could be. No, no, no. What are they right now, present day, standing in front of your face? When people show you who they are, believe them. Don't have pity on people. Don't be feeling bad. And if you're weak, you can't make anybody else strong. And you can't fix a broken person. Like, if a person is broken and destroyed, they need to want to fix themselves. They need to be making efforts. They need to be making appointments at therapists. But you can't do it. Like I said, if he beat you once, he will beat you again. The first swing should be the last. Younger women, be careful dating older men because they're controlling they have a motive and they will inflict pain on your ass. So be careful. Not all of them, but just know why is it that he's so much older than you and a woman his age, 
he can't he doesn't want to date him. They used to say it was about looks, but honey, 40 is the new 20. So that can't be the issue. This is about control. Um you know, drop a dime. If you see something, say something. I was at the store. I was I lived across the street from the store. So I went in there one day and as I was walking in, I saw this dude I knew from my hood. And he was a woman beater, like, 100% first class, dangerous, you know. But he looked, he was like a sheep, a wolf in sheep's clothing. So as I'm walking in, I see this nice young Spanish girl talking to him. So when I went in the store, I knew the dude. I said, hey, you know that girl out there? He said, yeah, she come in here once in a while. I said, do me a favor. When she come back in here, you tell her to stay away from that man. That man is crazy. That man will kill her. He will hurt her. You see something, you say something. See, back in the day, we didn't have all that, you know, internet and post up. But even now, you need to get uh, an anonymous message to a person. Like, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. If you see something, say something. I'm telling you. I don't care if you got to cut letters out of a magazine, paste it to a piece of paper, and mail it like old school with some damn gloves on. So your fingerprints are not on it. But send a letter, drop a dime, smoke signal, tell a friend, send a text, anonymous post. I don't care. But if you know your friend is with somebody who is a nut job, let them know, you know. And um, also, I'm going to say this to people who are in bad situations. Do not be afraid to go into a shelter. Do not be ashamed to go into a shelter. I would rather be somewhere safe and dry than at someone's house having my head kicked off on a daily basis because that's what they feel like they should do. Women have been abused and mistreated throughout time and history you can watch a movie from any period and women are being raped and subjected to violence so it is a pattern people don't want to believe you we have to stop victimizing the victims a lot of times when women don't leave we say oh they just well she don't want to leave she deserve it nobody deserves that we don't know what's going on in their minds another thing you can do if you're homeless you know, and you're young and you're desperate, join the military. The military, I mean, it ain't for me. I would have gone probably, but my mother was ill when I was growing up. But it is a good way to set a great foundation. It has benefits. It You get paid. And you're not on the street. Like, some people are just going to die on the street regardless. You might as well go to the military. You may just survive. But anything beats being beats on a regular basis. I'm going to also, you know, like I said before, say you see something, you say something, you background check, you be independent. If the ba if the mama's a co-signer and the mama don't have a problem with nothing that the son does, that's another fl uh, flag. You don't want to be in that situation. Pay attention to how your man treats other women also. How does he treat his exes? How does he treat his children? How does he speak to his daughters? Does he beat his daughter? Because men usually don't. Um, you know, there's all kind of abuse, physical, mental, emotional, financial, verbal, sexual. And also, I'm going to say organ abuse. Because remember, Tracy Morgan and George Lopez got kidneys from their women. And then, boom, they was gone. So, ladies, you know what I'm saying? If somebody took my kidney and dumped me, oh, God. Anyway, George Lopez paid for his. Tracy Morgan paid for his in a different way. George Lopez paid cash. Tracy Morgan paid in that crash because you see he ain't been the same since, you know, you got to have an escape plan. You need to have a friend that nobody really knows about so you can get away safely. Understand that your kids are at risk, you know, um, use birth control. Number one, don't get pregnant. People are getting pregnant way too fast. You don't even know a person and you're pregnant. And then you're surprised when they don't respond the way that you want them to or they don't treat you the way that you want or they don't take care of your children. They don't know you. They don't care about you. And you don't know them. So let's, ladies, let's control our fertility. But at the end of the day, if you see something, you say something. Thank you all for listening and tuning in. Please, let's unsilence domestic violence. We can no longer shame the victims. We can no longer turn our heads. A lot of people are suffering. And it's time that it that it ends. People, again, don't be afraid to go to a shelter, call and ask for help, and call the police. A motherfucker put his hands on you, call the police. Save yourself, save your children. 
God bless you. Keep you protected.